Hey everybody, I hope you're having an incredible day. My name is Alicia Masters, and if you are thinking to buy or sell property in and around the Puerto Vallarta market, I am your girl. Today I'm located in Centro in an older Mexican style home, which you guys know if you watch my channel, these are the ones that really like get me so, 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 so excited. This video is probably gonna be a little bit longer than normal because I literally just went through the entire property with the owners and they have done a complete gut job of this house from top to bottom it is totally renovated they have put in all new tile everything that you see in this place is completely redone and it is so cool it is so fresh this is for the person that loves all of the traditional details you just walk through a place and you want to feel like you're in Mexico that is where I'm at right now okay so let's get into some of the details the name of this property is Casa Loma the asking price is 1 million 100 thousand US dollars you have a little over 2400 square feet here the house is on four different levels you have three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms but the amount of character, the amount of charm, all the different mix of materials, all of the tile that they have here, everything has been carefully selected and curated for this space. It is so, so, so beautiful, so, so, so cool. If you are looking for that Mexican traditional home and you are looking for either an investment property or this would make an amazement, amazing second home or a full-time residence, that is what Casa Loma is. This is the property that you're not gonna wanna miss a single second of this entire video. I typically feature two to three homes a week on my channel of properties that are for sale on the market here in Vallarta. If you want to know more about Casa Loma, look in the description down below. If you'd like to do a personal showing or a virtual showing or you need any more information, I'm gonna put my phone number here. Make sure you contact me on WhatsApp. It is the way to get me for the fastest reply. I get so many emails every single day. Um, hang out to the end of this video. They have quite a few beautiful photographs. So if you wanna see some still shots of this place, I'll post that at the end of the video. Without further ado, I am so, so, so excited to show you this place. Let's go get into it, guys. Let's go. As always, I like to give you guys a good 360 degree view of everything that you are going to see. Everything that you're seeing right now is all Casa Loma. Before we get into all the details, let's take a look at what the neighborhood is here. So as you can see, you have to come up a slight hill to get up here, and you've got all just traditional Mexican style neighbors all around you. It's a very quiet street I can hear some kids playing everything that you see from the outside you've got all of these bars so it's very secure it's a very safe um, it's a very safe <laughs> oh my gosh I'm sorry I just got distracted this cute little cat is probably trying to get into this house all right back to the video so as you're walking in you do have security gates here and I just wanted to mention the artisan stone this is before we even enter in wait until we get up to the pool level I literally died when I saw the design yeah this cat is trying to get in Okay, bye kitty, see ya. Alrighty, so I just wanna continue to walk through because these are the design details that I literally love. So this is the Cantera stone. As you can see, it's mixed here. They have the wooden windows with the planter boxes outside. Walking over, you have the stone. I mean, this is just so cool. So many mix of materials before we even enter inside the house. So I always just wanted to kind of give you guys a good little look at that. You have mature landscaping here on the outside as well. Every single detail has been thought of, even the little bell before we even get into the house. And as you can see, there is a nice modern plaque up there that says Casa Loma, and we are on Corona Street 433. Also, I wanted to mention too, the hand carved wood detail that you see here in all the doors. Multiple doors in here are exactly like this. Welcome to traditional Mexico. All right, as we enter in again, you have, and I love, love, love this, the checker pattern with the, um, with the stone here. Again, this is the same kind of stone that we saw outside. I literally died when I walked into here. Talk about the mix of materials again. They have stone here all in the entry well. And this is kind of cool. So you have a nice place when you're first entering in um, to kind of have your a little lounge as you walk in. They do have three bedrooms. Two of the bedrooms are on the ground floor level. We're gonna walk our way into those in just a sec. And then they have, uh oh, the kitty made its way inside. 
<laughs> Alrighty, kitty. Alrighty. Bye -bye. So back to the video. Um, so let's walk into the entryway. As I said outside, I mean, when you have all of the mature landscaping continued on in here and then meet Emiliano Zapato. If you know anything, this guy is a major deal here in Mexico. He fought for the rights of the land. Um, I'll probably have some stuff down here so that a little bit more history lesson about Emiliano Zapata, but this is not the first cool, this is the first of two really cool murals that they have in this space. All right, so you have this beautiful little courtyard area down here. Again, they've continued with the Quintera stone, the detail of the black stone all around the planter box. They do have a laundry area in the back here, just another little storage. And then you're making your way into bedroom number one. And I mean, honestly, it's like everywhere that you look, you just have really cool, funky little details. This is so, so, so cool. So now these floor that you're seeing here, the tile on this floor and the other tile, like I'm gonna kind of just show you the tile before I get into the room. All of these tiles were um, hand painted and they come from Oaxaca. So this down here, they're kind of using it right now. It's set up as an office. You can see there is a Perota table. I love how you have the wooden windows here. And then even if you look on top of here, they have all of these wooden beams, which you're gonna see all over the place. Here again, you've got the big wooden beam here. There's so much character here. This is just really cool. So this is a good size of bedroom. As you can see, you have in here, there are two um, matrimonial size beds, which it's smaller than a queen, but bigger than like a full size bed. So you have two matrimonial size beds here. Walk around, they have a little built-in section here for the closet. And then walking through, you have like a Jack and Jill style bathroom. Again, I mentioned those are the Oaxaca um, tile, hand-painted tile here. And all of this is brand new. So you're going to notice that you kind of have a lot of like the old school Mexico, which are like those wooden beams mixed with the new modern. You've got this circle sink and, you know, a newer style vanity here. So there are like, a lot of the designs that are mixed and match. And I love how they have complimentary style color for the tiles. All right, just getting in here. Again, another super cool feature. You have three of the little windows here with the Cantera stone. And then this is just that walkway as you were entering inside. So we're gonna come circle back to the entrance. So on the entrance floor, we'll just kind of make our way back through. You have the two bedrooms. And then they have the laundry. The whole house is set up on a filtration system as well, but this is kind of where the laundry and the storage bodega is. All right, now let's make our way up into the primary part of the um, space here. They've continued with the Cantera on the stone, the Cantera stone here on the steps. And I wanted to mention too, I love how they did a two-tone Cantera here. They have the darker color on the top. This is just really beautiful. So you do have to come up one flight of stairs to get to the main entry. And I just wanted to give you another little peek of everything that you're going to see before you enter in. Another hand carved door here wooden door mentioned too before we even get in you can already see they have more of those beams so this house was built back in the 60s all of those are original to the um to the house now as you enter into the main part of living you have your primary bedroom here off to the right hand side coming into the dining room kitchen living room space let's check out the dining room kitchen living and then we'll go into the primary then we're going to make our way up to the very next level okay so everything you see here is all the formal dining room. It's a pretty big space, as you can see. You've got some accordion doors here that open all the way up if you wanted to open those up. I'm gonna give you another view for this space. And this is the kitchen. Before we even get in, I'm dying over the tiles that they have chosen in the kitchen here, how everything just goes and flows so nice. So again, those are the tiles that come from Oaxaca. And then if you look up, you can see you have the wood beams with the tile roof, the terracotta tile roof. I just love that. So it's a modern kitchen. As you can see, you have everything you need here. They have some mega appliances. You've got your, um, your refrigerator, your oven dishwasher, a nice big double farmhouse sink. So you have all of the modern conveniences with some of the cool traditional elements as you see here with the stone in the, um, in the backsplash and the terracotta tile 
pitched roof here. So give you a whole idea of what the kitchen looks like here. Very functional kitchen. You even have a wine fridge, love that. Making our way now into the primary bedroom. I love how in the primary bedroom they continued you have the pitched roof here with the wooden beams, the terracotta tile. All of this just lets you know, again, you're in Mexico. They continued up here with the two um, Cantera and clay encased windows here. Okay, two different um, closets on either side. You have a nice, really cool um, fireplace here. I'm looking out. To the outside, you do have a little Juliet balcony there. And we'll make our way now into the primary bathroom. All bedrooms here do have ensuite baths. This is another style here of the, um, the Oaxaca tile. It's just so cool. These are such a beautiful tile. The tile alone here is probably one of my favorite design elements. You can see here you have a standing glass stall shower with the subway tile there. I always love when you have the windows in the bathroom, just extra ventilation. All of these windows open up, you have a little bit more storage in there. Pitched roof with the ceiling fan inside the um, bathroom, definitely you need that all day. If you know Bayarda Summers here, the more ceiling fans, the better. Again, you have the detail here with the, um, with the wooden beam that carries on also before you get over into the bathroom. I just love this. Another thing that I wanted to mention, the entire house is the walls are done in chakram, which is a, um, it's a product that is natural here to, um, to Mexico. It comes from the Yucatan. It is absolutely incredible. It is like waterproof. You can make pools out of it. It's a very, very, very nice natural product and all of the walls are done in this chakram. Just a nice detail. I like also you can see in the ceiling how they did the drop ceiling with the indirect lighting. Again, adding a modern touch to a very traditional home. All right, so now that we've seen dining room, kitchen, living room, we've seen the primary bedroom, we've made our way to the downstairs. You've seen both of the downstairs bedroom. Just gonna give you another view here. Now we're gonna come up these marble stairs. And I also love the wrought iron, just the detail of the iron that they have here that they've selected. It lets you know, again, it's a very modern, traditional, but then we're coming up and you're having the mix of materials, which is something that I just love. Now, I wanna mention something when we get up here because you're gonna see even more that these owners have did. So originally, welcome to the rooftop. This entire level and the level above where the pool is, is brand new. This space used to just be a small little terrace. So they have extended everything out. As you can see, it's all nice and very modern up here. All of these doors open all the way up. Again, they continued with the style to do the wood doors. I love that element. It just makes everything feel so warm, so inviting. They've just done a really wonderful job. So as you can see, this is the primary living space. You've got a lot of room up here. And you have a nice view. You've got ocean views as well. Don't forget, we're in a fish islands here. Everything is going to appear a lot farther away than it actually is. So this is just your third level view. Wait until we get upstairs till you see the pool. Mm, I died when I saw something that I'm gonna to mention to you when we get up there. You're gonna to have to wait to see what I literally died over. Okay, this bathroom completely, everything in here was an addition. So as you can see, very Mexican style. I love how they have the glass doors here with the metal panes or the metal frame. Absolutely wonderful. I love, again, this is the same really cool tile, the pattern of tile. I think that's one of my favorite things about this house so far. I love that they did like the chakra walls. Again, I'm gonna try to get, see, cause they're, they're not, it's kind of like an off white color. It's kind of hard to see, I think here. It doesn't show as well in this video as it, oh, let's try over here, to Alicia. <laughs> okay, but it doesn't show as well because then I walk up and it's got a shadow. But anyways, it's really beautiful. It kind of almost looks, if you didn't know, you would think it was Venetian plaster, but it doesn't have the plasters, the smooth plaster style feel to it. It's just really beautiful. So you have a nice, beautiful soaking tub here, another very modern cabinet here with the furniture with the circle window. I like how um, they did the sink fixture where everything just comes right out of the wall. 
And then you have the privacy door here with the opaque glass, so you've got complete privacy in here. All right, so we're gonna make our way out of the bathroom. Let's go upstairs. All of this was an addition as well. They added in the entire pool. None of this was here before. Before you even get up, I wanna mention you have this really cool sliding metal door. And one of the things that I love about this is they didn't treat this so you can still see like the patina on the door up here. Coming through, you can see here you have a mix of materials. We're continuing with the black Cantera. Before we even get out, you have a water, I mean an outdoor shower here. This was the surprise that I was telling you about. I have not seen this before. I'm literally dying over it. The whole entire wall, let me come back so you can get a view of what the entire thing looks like, is done in this really amazing pattern here. So all of this is hand laid stone. And if you know anything about Vallarta, this is the kind of stone that you'll see all along Malacom. They've got just different parts of town that have this artisan brick, I mean, this artisan stonework here. So they've continued with something that's very Vallarta and they've brought it in and use it in a way that I have not seen before. Okay, so let's get back to the details. I'm sorry, I just kind of got lost there in the pattern of that kitchen here. Making our way through and the views. We are underneath the Palapa here, so this is the perfect place to come and watch the Vallarta sunsets, hang out up here in the morning with a coffee, come home after a long day, and you just wanna get up here and chill with a good book, a good glass of wine, a margarita with your friends on the weekends. Literally, this is where I would live if I lived in this house. It is so absolutely beautiful, and I haven't even shown you the pool yet. So you have this nice, beautiful palapa here. You can see they've got a ceiling fan installed, a really cool little lounge area place to hang out at. Now we're gonna get into the pool, which has these little mosaic tiles. I like how they also did the touch of the granite and the stone. You have a nice sheer to sit here. The water should be coming out of there. They added the palms for a little extra privacy. And then you do have here where they've continued with the stone. They do have uh, cushions that would go here, which is we're in our rainy season right now. You also have an umbrella that comes up over this, so you can have this whole area shaded. They do have all of that. You also have a few outlets here. So there's just a lot that, uh, that you can do with this space. I'm gonna move around and give you guys all different views. So you have views of the bay here. You can literally sit here, watch the fireworks at nighttime. I can only imagine what this place looks like during, um, during New Year's. It's probably so beautiful. So this is the rooftop, the fourth level. All of this, like I said before, is brand new. The next thing that we're gonna do now is we're gonna get into a recap and then hang out if you'd like to see some still shots. Say goodbye. Alrighty guys, let's go get into a recap. Alrighty guys, now that you have had a chance to see this absolutely beautiful home, let's get into the details one more time. You have three bedrooms here with three and a half bathrooms. This house is four different levels. You have a little over 2,400 square feet. The asking price is $1,100,000 US dollars. Look in the description down below if you'd like to see more information about this property and how you can get in contact with me. Remember, WhatsApp is the best way to reach me for the fastest reply. I know you did click like and subscribe subscribe to my channel. I do about two to three videos a week of properties that are for sale on the market here in Vallarta. Hang out to the end of this video if you would like to see some still shots of this condo. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one, but I just can't help it. All of the little design details are literally like, that's why I'm here in Mexico. I could be living in Texas or anywhere else and like, yeah, here's this traditional standard box home that looks just like every single thing else that you're gonna see that's out there. This is the reason why I live in Mexico. These are the properties that I absolutely love to feature. You guys, this is a dream, a gem. I would love to have this property for myself and I would love to show it to you. So make sure you do contact me. Let's get a virtual showing or an in-person showing going. Um, make sure you contact me on WhatsApp. That is the best way to reach me for the fastest reply. That is my time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll catch you at the next one. Bye guys, peace.